All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic Monday and you're ready for some Leeds United transfer news. But as always, guys, before we do get into the transfer news, be sure to smash. Let's go for 350 likes on this video. Also, subscribe if you are new. Look how close we are to 11,100. Well, not really, but we could hit it tonight. Get down there, subscribe right now. Going to give you three seconds to subscribe. Uno, dos, and tres. And comment today where you believe Leeds United are going to finish in the championship. Is it first? Is it second? Or is it 18th? Let me know in the comments down below. About further ado, let's get into the Leeds United transfer news. First of all, we're talking Joel Perot, the Swansea City striker. Leeds have been told that it will cost them 15 million if they want to sign Joel Perot. He is a confirmed Leeds United target. Now, obviously, we know there's been there's been noise, but Leeds do like the look of the 23-year-old. Basically, he scored 41 goals in 88 championship experiences. So 41 goals over the two seasons in the championship. He also got eight assists last year, but we don't need him for his assists. We need him for them goals. Leeds United need an out-and-out -out striker. I think we saw that against Monaco. Obviously, Leeds did lose 2-0 against Monaco on Saturday. Um, you know that there was a bit, there was bits of good there, but there was, you know, we just lacked, you know, a goal scorer. How many times Dan James or Sinistera put something into the box, and there's no, you know, goal scorer there. Rutter for me isn't an out and out striker, so I don't want to see him there. We need someone who knows where the back of the net is. I don't care if he's always scored six yarders. Who cares? We need someone who can score a goal, and it does look like Leeds United like the look of Joel Perot. Obviously, we always know this, but they've reported uh, Swansea that they would like 15 million for the Leeds United target, Joel Perot. Apparently, he did play for Swansea. He did score a penalty, but apparently the rest of the game, you know, he's playing a bit like, you know, people want him. He's playing a bit like he's not really interested to be at Swansea anymore. Probably not the right attitude, but still, Leeds, Leicester, and other clubs do like the look. Leeds have joined the race, uh, including Everton as well, and Southampton like him. Um, so, yeah, this is according to Simon Jones at the Mail Sport. Leeds United should go, and, I mean, it would show some balls if we went for Joel Perot. I'd really like the look of it. But apparently, according to some sources, sources, you know, HP, Heinz, uh, that, that he's close, he's agreed personals. I don't believe that right now, unless that's something I don't completely know. But either way, Joel Perot is on Leeds United's confirmed target list. Next up, we're talking Nat Phillips. And there's rumours that he's going to be the next signing. He hasn't travelled with Liverpool uh, for their pre-season tour. So it does look like Leeds United do obviously need a centre-back. I'll get into that in a bit, talking about Max Vober. But I thought Charlie Cresswell done decent, you know, when we watched him, uh, when I watched him, sorry, against Monaco. I thought it was a decent little outfit. But would we want an experienced centre-back in there like Nat Phillips? 100% yes. Uh, so, yeah, people, there's rumours that he's going to be the next signing medical this week. I'm seeing sort of things. Take this all with a pinch of salt, ladies and gentlemen. But, yeah, Nat Phillips, is he to be Leeds United's next signing? And would you like him? Let me know in the comments down below. Next up, we're talking Leeds United, new goalkeeper, potentially in the next few days. This is from Phil Hay. Uh, no, it's not. Sorry, this is from Graham Smith at The Athletic and Phil Hay at The uh, Athletic, who have been saying the Leeds United will get a new goalkeeper in the next few days. Carl Darlow, Angus Gunn, Freddie Woodman. Will it be one of them or will the 49ers come out with something we haven't even thought of? Obviously, we like the look of Alexander Nubel from Bayern Munich, but he's all but confirmed he's going to Stuttgart. I believe that is actually confirmed now. So we won't be getting him. Leeds United are going to get a new goalkeeper. What does that mean for Elan Melier? Probably looks like he's going to be off. Uh, we'll probably get a bit of money for Elan Melier, even though I thought he looked actually very good um, against Monaco especially distribution wise a bit of confidence and you know I'd happily take Melier back in goal for the championship but I don't believe that's going to happen I believe Leeds United are going to sign a new goalkeeper in the next few days so we'll keep you posted on that one next up a Jack Harrison update a lot of people have been saying to me where is Jack Harrison is he leaving is he going well it looks like he could be staying after all of this that's basically to do with his injury uh, Daniel Farker has said him Furpo and Tyler Adams will miss out at the start of the season kind of confirming that you know I don't believe people will go for him because because of his injury. That's what people have been saying. So look, could be Jack Harrison could spend another season 
uh, at Ellen Road in the championship. But you never know. He's definitely one of them wingers or one of them players, sorry, at the club that we could get some money for. But at the moment, it looks like Jack Harrison's not going anywhere and he hasn't had any bids for him. Next up, Max Vober leaving. I know this was a bit uh, oldish news, but it looks like he could be off to Borussia Mönchengladbach when he's been sitting there saying he's going to fight for the shirt, you know, side before self. He was wearing the skipper's armband. And then before the Monaco game, he's came out and said he wants to leave. I'm not a fan of that at all. It's another one of these season-long loans. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but people who are going out on these season-long loans, Rocker, you know, Voba now, others, Rasmus Christensen, Brendan Aronson, I don't want to see them play for Legion United again. I really don't. I really don't want to see them play for Legion United again. But there we are. It could be like that could be all but wrapped up in the next few days. Max Voba to Borussia Mönchengladbach. Uh, Leeds want young boys centre-back Amanda. He's a 19-year-old right-footed centre-back. A lot of people are saying he's going to fit in for Max Vober. We need a left-sided centre-back. And also, I think that's chucked a bit of a spanner in the works, I believe, with Max Vober wanting to leave. I think he was one of the ones the board thought, yeah, he's going to stay here. And I think his unlikely, uh, you know, kind of demand of that he wants to leave, I think has come a bit out of nowhere. But Leeds do like the look of young centre or young boy centre back, and he is a young centre back, uh, nineteen year old Amanda or Amanda. Sorry, I don't know too much about him at all. Will he slot into our team or will he go to the under twenty threes? You never know. Apparently, he's got experience. He looks decent, but there we are. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. Uh, next up, Charlie Crew. He signs a professional contract with Leeds United. Another youngster getting in. I don't mind these youngsters, but let's start signing some senior. You know people because we need to uh but good, good luck to charlie crew next up sam byram has been the talk of the town recently he did play for Leeds united against monaco he came on for half an hour at left back thought he looked tidy i thought he looked very tidy indeed but you know i would take him on a free transfer i think farker likes him i think he gets along with it with the lads there he wore number 25 that he used to wear he's got a lot of appearances under his belt under Leeds. i didn't realize he had nearly over 150 appearances for Leeds united i would like to see him back in the lead shirt but i don't think that should be our our answer for a left back or a right back or whatever that i just think it would be a good squad player to have and i wouldn't mind seeing sam byron back at Leeds. um he's definitely a very good player will Leeds united go for it who knows but ladies and gentlemen let me know your thoughts on all things Leeds United. It's a bit slow. Fabrizio Romano did say this week things will happen at Leeds, including Nonto to Villa or Nonto to Everton. That's been circulating. Leeds need to bring in Nat Phillips, Joel Perot, Glenn Kamara. Uh, you know, it's gone quiet on the Emmanuel Dennis situation as well, but I think all will be revealed this week. It's going to be a big week, ladies and gentlemen, so be sure to turn them notification bells on. Also, subscribe if you are new to keep posted with the Leeds United latest news. Guys, smash that like button. Let's go for 350 likes. We've spoke today about Joel Perot is a confirmed target. Nat Phillips to be the next signing. Leeds to sign a new goalkeeper in the next few days. Jack Harrison update. Max Vober leaving. Leeds want young boy centre-back Amenda. Charlie Crew, Sam Byram and all things Leeds. Ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new and comment where you believe Leeds United are going to finish this year where are we going to finish first second i think we're bookies favorites at the moment like we're set, like i don't know bookies favorites to go up like first or second i don't know ladies and gentlemen only 12 sort of about two weeks away till the start of the season i'm not looking forward to it i'm a bit worried either way let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i've been ollie ward you guys have been excellent and i'll catch you in the next video cheery oh <laughs>